Hi, today I want to show you how to take some high speed photos with my uh, Canon S100 camera and uh, using the standard setting you won't be able to do that you need to download the software uh, on your SD card it's, uh, there are some instructions on the internet You can I will post the link uh, in the description section so the only thing you need to do after you save the files on your SD card, you need to put it, put the switch to uh, protect it like this, and put the card in there. You will notice the camera uh, has changed a little bit. If you try to turn on the camera as a usual, it doesn't react. This, uh, the power button, the play button doesn't do anything so the, the only thing you need to know is you have to hold the button for a while and then it will turn on so you will see th just the logo just flashing and then you got you see the but battery indicator has changed showing the percentage when I start using it that was a little bit confusing uh, when I press the button everything comes a little bit with delay so sometimes I press the button twice and, and it just all if you press the play button here it will switch to the out mode you will see there's an out here and it takes some time there will be a manual I don't want to show you all the features in this one I just want to show you the high speed how, how I t took the high speed photos. You have to press the menu button to go to the other settings. Then you will see a different menu. The the top one there is, a say, is saying enhanced uh, photo operation. Just use the navigator button, go down, go to the, that item and press right. And you will see there are all different features. What are we interested uh, at the moment is the EV step value. So you can change it, push left or right, and I can change it up to one and one and one hundred k. So that's the uh, shutter speed. And as you know, uh, the faster the shutter speed, the less light come in. So the other thing is you can change the uh, uh, aperture here, the value. We can't change much. This one won't help me to set it lower. And that's the lower I can get. I just leave it uh, unused. So uh, to exit the, from this menu, press menu button. And now you can take a photo. Uh, make sure you are in this mode. As you can see, the photo is totally uh, black because it was too dark. Uh, I try to do it in under the sun, still not bright enough. So I have to switch on the flash. In case you want to switch on the flash, you you have to go back to the normal uh, operation, press the play button, and you will see this old indicator is gone, then you can change the flash. Oh, you have to change it to program first, then you can change to flash. Say uh, I want to force the flash, and now this. In order to go to that uh, mode, I just have to press this out again, and let's take the high speed photos. So you can see that now you can see a little bit. So that was the high speed. Uh, when I started, I tried to use the tripod and use the timer. Uh, of course you can use the timer as well as I just said you have to turn it to the normal mode without the out indicator and then you can set everything as usual like 
Tama here. But actually, uh, I noticed I didn't need the timer because I can press the button. I won't be able to shake the camera because the speed shutter speed is so high that it won't make any difference. So that's better without the timer. As I have mentioned before, the camera behavior has changed a little bit using the uh, CHDK package. So for example, when you are in the uh, shooting mode, you want to go to play mode. Uh, if you just press the button once, it, you won't go into the play mode. You, you have to hold the button, then you go to the play mode. You can see the photo we just did before. And set, you can switch back by holding the button again. So, and same. Same as when, when you want to turn on the camera using the play button, you have to hold it. Then you, you got turn on the, you can see the logo here. Yeah, that's what I want to show you. Just a simple feature using the CHDK software. And there are, of course, there's plenty other feature in there. And have a look, download the software and try. Here, for example, you can see in this photo, I, I was using the sunlight and it was, uh, and I put a mirror at the back and using the flash, hoping the flash will uh, reflect for, uh, from the mirror and get a little bit more light from the back. And try it out and let, let me know how did it go. Thank you for watching. Bye.